What's going on everybody? Rob here. Let's see if we can run that little air conditioner uh, for those solar panels and for how long. Now if you don't believe me, let's go downstairs and check and we're gonna see the grow out inverter. I did there's not the sun shifted, I gotta remove my panels. Uh 56 or 48 volt battery. That's the sun connected to the batteries. The batteries are at full charge, right? 54.5 full charge really is 56 but anything above 48 volts is full charge the battery goes down to 42 volts so it's plugged in actually it came in all the way out here got cisco to roddy back here but i'm not getting full sun on my panels so that's the there's the problem so this is just temporary this is just for see cut that off so here's the plug for the air conditioner all right so I'm plugging that in right here, right? So it is on, right? Feel it? But that's the fan, that's not the air conditioner. So it's, it's in slow mode right now. And then let's go look at the inverter. You see when it kicks on. Lower to the 69. Air conditioner kicked on. Let's go check out the inverter. So right now, I am running that air conditioner off of the sun, but you see the battery drastically changed, right? The, it's on constant charge right now. It's charging from the sun, but the sun actually trickle charges. So the battery went from 54.5 or 54.7 to 54.1 with the air conditioner on, but it's, this is strictly going off of that battery right now. Strictly going off of the battery. It's not grabbing anything from the sun yet. I'll keep you posted. Okay, 11.34. If I would put these directly in the sun, they would help. So if they were on top of there, they would help. These used to get full sun, but the difference of the Earth's access and the Earth's sun access, access and the sun shifting, these don't get full sun anymore. Although, still running off the sun. All right, it'll definitely keep running because it went up to 54.7 volts. So it is grabbing power from the sun running that air conditioner so i got it ran with a big extension cord so i may have to permanently wire that thing in because it's running the 10,000 btu completely off of the sun right now if this is going up that means it's making enough power to run the air conditioner and charge the battery although the battery is in a constant state of charge right now it is charging the battery this is a 48 volt system it'll go all the way down to 42 volts although it went up to 54.7 so we're doing good here i will say this the fan is going on for the inverter a lot more and when the fan goes on look at 54.1 that's the double fans at the bottom that's the double fans at the bottom so let me clear it out i feel the air, air coming through here let's check it out 84 degrees 85 degrees coming out so the fans are definitely on in here And it would jump from 54.2 to 54.7. But I got all the way to go down to 42 volts. And if that fan shuts off, it went back up to 54.7. All right, now this is the battery management system. The air conditioner is pulling 8.5 to 9 amps. And my 54.3 volts. And the state of charge on the batteries is about 3.8 volts per battery. This is JKBMS real time check this out and it rotates the jkbms rotates the lowest battery to the highest battery so my battery capacity says there's 16 amp hours my average cell voltage is 3.9 so the air conditioner must have went off because it went to 3.2 amps so the air conditioner must have shut off got to amp but look at the voltage going up so the solar panels are working okay so i'm going to go ahead and bring in the extension cord now because there's no sense in me continuing this project because it's still running we still have full sun still on and uh my battery voltage is maintaining between 54.7 and 54.2 although with the extension cord here and the screen on right there i'm gonna just keep losing air right now so it still is on still running off the inverter so what I'm gonna have to do is find the breaker. That outlet right there, 
is specifically made only for either the air conditioner or the mudroom heater that is a direct outlet so in the basement i would actually have to find what outlet that would be and then when i find out exactly what i mean what breaker that'll be then from that breaker i could disconnect it from that breaker and uh put a plug to like plug in that uh plug in that uh the breaker because i got an extra breaker box just for my mudroom right there so i have that breaker connected to here and then we would be able to run that heat and that air conditioner directly off of this and this gets plugged into the grid so when it can't uh get any more sun then it just goes by itself to the grid talk to you later subscribe like and share